Hello, welcome to my channel. We have some wildlife today. I'm going to be showing you this drawing of a zebra. I mostly use pastels for this and a little bit of white and black charcoal, although you can just use pastels. I did this on a sand color yellowish toned paper with a nice simple background. So let's get to it. Uh, I always fidget a little bit when it comes to drawing the initial sketch uh, because uh, it's very important how you're gonna place your subject. The composition is very important and uh, I wanted the zebra to be on the right but I wanted the head to be mostly in the center of the paper so getting it right and getting the proportions right at the same time can be a little bit challenging but once I had a rough idea about the size and where it's going to be putting in the details and drawing the the rest of it was a lot easier so now I'm sketching the where the mane will be and the zebra's mane is kind of upright like a mohawk a lot shorter than a horse's mane and the ears are here the nostrils are probably going to be somewhere around here but I'm gonna work on that a little bit later and I'm just readjusting the position of the eyes and ears a little bit to make sure that everything is in place and that's probably good enough for the sketch Now after that I grabbed a piece of white charcoal to put in the lighter white areas and then I, later I'm gonna work with black on top of that. Now like I said here I'm using white charcoal and I'm gonna be using that in a combination with black charcoal but you can also use a white pastel and black pastel for these uh, stripes it's pretty much the same thing. It will have the same effect on this toned paper. The good thing about toned paper is that whether you're doing uh, black and white drawings or uh, colored drawings, it doesn't matter. The toned paper will help your subject stand out immediately when you use lighter colors. Uh, so you don't have to do the shading of the background as much and when you're draw doing a draw drawing of a savanna like I am in this case you can also use that background color uh, to your advantage so that you don't have to do much shading on, on the background either so now you, as you can see I'm uh, putting in more detail on the head and I'm doing these stripes and by the way, in addition to pastel and charcoal, I'm going to use a little bit of colored pencil as well to clean up some of these edges because some of them are going to be a little bit rough and a little bit uh, jagged. And I don't want that because even though it's short here and uh, there is a little bit of uneven edge on those stripes, the thing is that when you look at these zebra's stripes from a distance, uh, the edges look fairly clean so that's what I'm going for and now I'm using the white to put in a little bit more detail on the snout <clears throat> and of course I had to do a little more shading on the head as well because I can't leave it all exactly white so the head needs to have its shape and volume so I, as you can see I shaded the transition between the cheeks and the rest of the head a little bit more and I shaded, shaded the lower part of the head a little bit more. Here you can see I covered uh, much of the body with white and now it's just a matter of putting in these stripes, lots of these stripes. And these stripes sort of extend into the main which is quite fascinating when you think about it. And I'm gonna have to do a lot more work on that mane, obviously, and uh, to, to try to make that hair look a lot more realistic. The reason why I'm blending that with a brush now 
is to give it more density uh, but also here uh, I did the same thing on the stripes on the body to push that black into the paper a little bit and also to push that darker value around so that I can ma make certain parts of zebra's body a little bit darker because I don't want it to look flat and if I lost a little bit of contrast in the process that's okay I'm gonna bring that back because I'm gonna go over these stripes once again and not only am, am I going to make them darker I'm also going to clean up their edges quite a bit and make them stand out a lot more I'm going to do that work with a combination uh, of a charcoal pencil and a black colored pencil and I'm using a black colored pencil because it helps me create cleaner edges but I'm pretty happy with the way the head looks right now and the mane also looks pretty good so this is basically what I'm doing I'm just going over these areas which I covered with very quickly and just kind of cleaning up cleaning up these stripes and also putting in a little more shading on the white areas as well so that I can show a little bit more of the zebra's shape and anatomy um, here I decided to check what I could do with this blue pastel and the background. I picked up a light ultramarine pastel pencil. It's very close to sky blue but a little bit darker and it has a little bit more red, reddish tones in it. So that's what I was going for and it kind of combined really well with this yellowish toned paper. And by the way the paper that I'm using is uh, Fabriano sand color toned paper and the pastels that I'm using are either Conti's or Master's Touch or Kohinoor so I'm using several different brands so it's really no point in asking me about the brands I use whatever I have available so it's not a big deal to me now I uh, wasn't really sure what to do with the background initially uh, whether I was going to do a very detailed background or just some suggestions of bushes and trees in the back and I opted for the latter solution I decided to put in a little bit of that greenish variation in the terrain and to create some suggestions of some shapes of trees in the background I refined them a little bit and added a little bit more of these darker brownish and uh, darker tones to work out the shape of the tree a little bit more but I decided not to make it any more detailed than that because the zebra really stands out nicely it's a re really nice interesting subject so this unobtrusive background uh, works really well and I really like the colors the tone paper did a great job here for me I didn't really have to had to do much shading at all I decided to put in a few more suggestions of bushes and some greenish tones in the foreground as well just to make it a little more interesting and to balance out my drawing a little bit and now I also have to clean up a few more of these stripes But if I try to do this on a completely white paper, obviously I would have to do a lot more shading and I would have to cover a lot more of it with color. Or if I worked in black and white, uh, I would have to shade the, pretty much all of the paper and just try to leave the, reserve the white for the zebra or try to erase those lighter areas and highlights. But this was was uh, this way was a lot easier, and still I think I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, 
So initially I also experimented uh, with drawing a few blades of grass in the foreground, but eventually I gave up on the idea and I just decided that it looks fine the way it is. And now I'm just going to put down my signature here. And this is pretty much it. The drawing is done. If you like my drawings, please check out check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I have lots of other content and I'm going to put some links to other videos. Thank you for watching and bye for now.